up with Goliath. And Terry Sawyer will wrestle as he meets the Moon Dog Maine. That's all right here next Wednesday at the Olympic. This event, one fall, 15 minute time, limited tag team event. Introducing to you on my left, former America's Tag Team Champions at 249 from Osaka, Dr. Hiro Ota. And from Pampa, Texas at 295, the outlaw, Ron Bass. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, the present America's Tag Team title holders, presenting at 219, Arcia Alvarez Chavo Guerrero. And presenting 231, the one and only Black Gord Man, special referee Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper, referee. Aquí están discutiendo Chavo Guerrero y Roddy Piper. Chavo Guerrero con palabras duras para Roddy Piper que quiere imponer sus reglamentos y allí va a enseñar el libro rojo de reglamentos de boxeo y lucha libre. Así es que ahí está Gorman ahora discutiendo con Roddy Piper que va a fungir como referee. Roddy Piper dice yo voy de acuerdo con el libro rojo de los reglamentos de lucha libre. Chavo Guerrero está bien, dice, pero siempre que te mantengas al pie de la letra en esos reglamentos y no los violes. Suena la campana y vamos a entrar a las acciones viendo al doctor Hiro Ota de Osaka, Japón, con la ceremonia de la salva. Al lado derecho, un puñero de sal. Ahora por el lado izquierdo, otro puñero de sal. Al centro, la pierna, la mano derecha por el lado derecho, la pierna izquierda por el izquierdo y ahora sienta la pierna derecha. Allá en el centro de la sábana azul y va a atacar. Descuidando, madrugando a Chavo Guerrero con golpes duros, doctor Hiro Ota. Así es que Luis, aquí viene la cosa en esta lucha. Nice clean break. Nice clean break. Ron Bass y doctor Ota son ex campeones de parejas de las Américas. Los campeones actuales son Chavo Guerrero y Black Orman. Pero el Ron Bass no había podido. ¿Qué dices, Guerrero? La próxima semana veremos a Gorman y Chavo Guerrero en acción en pareja. Mundo Ben contra Terry Sawyer. Y otra contra Héctor Guerrero en la jaula de acero del Olympic. Aquí está la acción. Están los dos allá adentro. Stay in your corner and shut up, Gorman. dijo sí con la condición de que luchemos en la jaula de acero del Olympic. Así es que el miércoles próximo veremos en la televisión la jaula de acero del Olympic de 15 pies de alto. Para Romba. Nice 
this frame break. Frame break. One. Is that what you want? Very good. Very good. What did that remember, baby? <laughs> Un complot aquí entre Piper, Ron Bass y Ota. Para rombas, isn't that something? Huh. Es un complot este. Gorman contra Ota, látigo a las cuerdas, patada buena de Gorman a Ota. Castigado Gorman en la esquina negra por Vaz y Ota. Retirado Chavo Carrero por Piper. Es un complot este entre Bass, Piper y Ota. Castigado Gorman en la esquina negra entre Bass. Un golpe en el vientre a Gorman. que todos quieren ver ahora contra Romba sacó un palillo Gorman le ha dado un golpe y le propina otro en la cabeza no lo ha visto el referee todavía no, deja que lo, lo vea ahí anda buscándolo pero no encontró nada y Chavo ataca a Romba se alborota la gallera todos de pie pero no sabe de dónde vino la cosa. Un sorazo de Gorman con el pulgar de la mano derecha a Vaz. Le produce ceguera temporal. Tiene lentitud para la cuenta. Pide tiempo Ota. Y Piper lo afirma. Vamos a ver. Piper sale del ring. Ota examinando la cabeza de Rombas. El chavo entra a atacar a Rombas. La cosa está candente aquí, Luis. Ahí está Gorman con el palillo. Se acobarda. Ota allá en la esquina negra. El chavo lo patea. Y para Bas también un golpazo con el palillo de parte de Gorman. Y sonó la campana. Ya entramos ahora de nueva cuenta la lucha legal. Bueno, allí le pegó con algo Ron Bass a Chavo Guerrero. Y sigue Bas con su tarea destructora para Chavo Guerrero. Trae un vaso de cartón. 
un vaso de cartón fue ese, Luis. Sí, se lo, sí, lo meten los ojos a Chavo. Le sacó filo, le hizo punta y le sí. pegó a Chavo. Cuenta rápida de Piper para Chavo Guerrero, como relámpago. Chavo golpe al vientre de Rombas. Ya tiró el vaso ese de papel, Chavo Guerrero, fuera de la raíz. Se lo quitó, se lo quitó a, a Ron Bass. Y continúa la acción dura aquí en esta gran lucha de parejas. Ok, Luis, aquí está la acción. Ota contra Chavo Guerrero. Buena patada del Chavo y la cosa se ha puesto candente aquí, ¿verdad? Sí, pues desde el principio empezó la cosa. Bueno, Roddy Piper levanta esos ánimos. Doble patada de Gorman a Ota. Este es golpe de tiempo. Patadas de tiempo. Da el azotón de espaldas, Ota. Y Chavo empieza con sus patadas allá, doctor Ota. Y le clava otra en la región del vientre. Chavo Guerrero contra Ota en este momento. Y le tuerce la cabeza. ¡Qué cara! ¡Qué cara la de Doctor Ota! Duro castigo de Chavo y apoyando las piernas y torciéndole con las manos a Ota la cabeza. ¿Ves la cuenta que le hace? Sorprendiendo a Chavo que estaba distraído por Pai Perota y lo lleva ahora contra la rodilla derecha de Rombas. Vaya que estos tipos están acoplados. Y digo los tres, ¿verdad? Los tres, sí. Jalando el brazo, patada de romba a Chavo. Intento tocar la espalda. ¡Ey! ¡Qué rapidez para contar! Por poco, por poco le cuenta, le pone toque de espaldas. No romba, sino Piper a Chavo Guerrero. Antes no cuenta de dos en dos. Small package de Chavo a rombas. Una, dos, come on. Get it fast. Chavo ya está furioso contra Piper. Se armó la gorda aquí en el Olympic. Allá va Ota y vas contra Chavo Guerrero, que le está tallando el cuello a Chavo con un cordón con algo allí. Doctor Ota, mientras distrae a Piper Rombas. Allá en el centro de la sábana azul es lo la cosa dura. Lo está ahorcando con algo. Claro. Le está tallando el cuello con un cordón, con un quién sabe qué. Allí Doctor Ota, Chavo Guerrero. Y Piper no se ha dado cuenta, claro. Hay una cinta, sí. Una cinta, quién sabe qué cosa es. Allá en el centro de la plancha azul va la cosa. Oh, por ah, parte con de la su trucha, tirante, con sí. su tirante, con el tirante izquierdo de la, de la butarga. Y se va encima, intento de tocar las palas. Una, dos, dos palmadas. La cuenta de Piper es rápida para Chavo Guerrero. Chavo falla un volado de derecha y lo prende nuevamente Ota. Lo pica en el vientre a Ota. Chavo le da el tag a Gorman. Gorman llega fresquecito como una lechuga y busca a Rombas. Come on, I wanna get you now, dice Gorman. A Rombas, I want you. Allá está Gorman. Dice el tag fue legal, dice Gorman. Y lo sostiene Piper para que Rombas ataque a Gorman que le prende un golpazo fuerte. Ayudado por Piper, Romba se está destruyendo a Black Gorman allá. Y ya se recuperó, doctor Ota. No cabe duda que este es un complot. Un complot entre Ota, el Ron Bess y el referee. Tres contra dos. Los aficionados están de pie, ávidos de interés presenciando esta lucha de relevos en la estelar de hoy. Conteo lento de Piper para Rombas, mientras Gorman por poco queda fuera liquidado allí. Y ahora tallando el cuello de Gorman allá en la cuerda intermedia, apoyado con Bass montado en la espalda de Gorman y sosteniéndolo por la cabeza a Ota. Y se hace de la vista gorda, como que no ha visto acá que tienen a, a Gorman contra la Va cuerda. Va a entretenerse Piper con Rombas. Ahí está Chavo que viene en socorro en auxilio de Gorman. Y Piper lo entretiene para que Bass... Y Ota fueran a aprovecharse de Gorman. Es más el que toma por su cuenta a Gorman y le da el tag a Ota. Lo sostiene por arriba y le da un cuchillazo de karate, un golpe de karate de Ota en el cuello de Black Gorman. Y buena patada en la región de el pecho. Sí. Ahí está Ota con otra patada a Black Gorman. Ya está liquidando Gorman. Una, dos, dos palmadas rápidas. Cuenta Piper a Black Gorman. Ahí está Gorman ya recuperado, Luis. Y está tupiéndole duro a, al doctor Ota. Azotón ahí, bomba de tiempo. Y vente, le dice Rombas Gorman. Ahí 
aquí está Gorman, eres tú al quien yo quiero. Vaya un volado de derecha y lo prende con un derechazo bueno a Bas. Black Gorman. Lo toma y lo azota de crotch. Un crochazo duro y se impulsa en las cuerdas Black Gorman. Vuela en sentón duro en el pecho de Ron Bas. Vamos. Una. ¡Qué mal! Dos, dos palmadas con toda una base. Si hubiera puesto toca la espalda con la cuenta legal. El tag para Chavo Guerrero. Chavo ya está bien descansadito ahora. Empieza con una derecha a Ron Bass. Si hubiera contado con la rapidez con que le cuenta a los otros, llega a seis. Cuando menos hubiera contado legalmente, le hubiera puesto toque de espaldas Gorman a, a Bass. Lo mete al ring, lo quiere meter Chavo. Y sí lo mete, a otra por la tercera cuerda. De afuera para adentro. Látigo las cuerdas a Ota por Chavo y golpe de caderas muy bien de Chavo. A Ota y una maroma, un somersault. Vamos encima, toque de espaldas. Come on, Piper, come on. Una, dos, come on. Chavo está furioso. En este momento estamos viendo a Chavo y a Gorman muy adelantados en puntos. Se sí, están llevándose la lucha de calle. En puntos, ¿Verdad, sí. Luis? Sí. Yeah, way ahead in points. En llaves, Chavo en toques. Con un puente y rana para Ota. Come on, Piper. Una, dos. Lo soltó Chavo. Hubieran sido tres palmadas. Son tres contra dos. Piper, Rombas y Ota contra Chavo y Gorman. Ahí está Chavo. Vamos para Bas. Y vamos, cuidado, no, cuidado, ahí muestra el emblema Piper, pero Chavo está furioso. Otro golpazo a Vaz. Y ahora Ota lo lleva contra Vaz y lo estrella contra Vaz a Ota, Chavo Guerrero. Ahí está Gorman en la esquina blanca y la cosa aquí se pone candente en la esquina derecha, en la esquina negra. Chavo con Vaz, lo lleva contra la rodilla derecha de Gorman, Chavo a Rombas. Y ahí viene Gorman, a patear a su antojo y gusto, a Rombas y los van a estrellar de frente. Choque de frente, vamos. Azotados allá de frente, Ota y Rombas. Gorman encima se le va a Ota. Chavo, vamos, una, dos, come on, Piper. Qué lentitud del amigo ese. Chavo con golpazo fuerte, Rombas. Y Gorman despachándose con buen golpe de derecha también. A Ota y hace su... Chavo Guerrero le emprende contra Roddy Piper que se quitó la camiseta de referee y lo envía con látigo las cuerdas y golpe de caderas. La gente está de pie alborotada con este tremendo ataque. Y Gorman por ese palillo da cuenta de rombas en la cabeza dos veces. Entra Piper contra Gorman y Gorman lo despacha en el vientre con un palillazo de esos. Pulsa las cuerdas y falla el golpe Piper y se lo estrella en el pecho a rombas. Gorman con buena derecha tumba a Piper. Ahora rombas. Chavo palmoteando y van corriendo este par de pillos. At the moment, it's Lou Whitson. Waiting for the wrestlers to come out. We'll be underway. I gotta tell you, we got fascinating wrestler here in Roddy Piper. If you've never seen him, I think you're really going to enjoy him. He's something different. And the referee should be coming in just a moment. I want to remind you, fans, you have a chance to see Roddy Piper in your area. He flies in and out of California, does a lot of wrestling up in Los Angeles. Be sure and see him. Also, next week here on TV, we've got one of the... Uh, here comes referee Lou Whitson. One of the outstanding wrestlers in the world, Playboy Buddy Rose, will be here on TV next week. Also, another great wrestler, Jimmy Snuka, from the Fiji Islands, will be here. This is Roddy Piper from Scotland. 
in the Scottish kilts. T-shirt, and he has his bagpipe with him. He's 232 pounds from Scotland, stepping in the ring now. His opponent is from Puerto Rico at 225 pounds. It's Tony Milan. Tony's in the ring. Now we're about set to go. Roddy's there with his bagpipes. Still has his kilt on. A referee coming over. Roddy taunting Tony Milan, saying, hey, uh, by the chest you have, do you fight very good? Are you scared, he asked him. Roddy Piper, very cocky. Very sadistic wrestler. We've had a chance to see him a few times. He has on the back of this T-shirt, it says, San Francisco's finest. He says, you know who I am, boy, taunting uh, Tony Milan. Laughing at him. Okay, I think we're about set to go. Well, let's see, you know what the delay is. The referee is wondering himself. And now Roddy's hyper saying some of the fans, I can't make out what he's saying. Something about his bagpipe. Beautiful bagpipe there. Well, the fans hollering, come on, play it. I understand he plays a pretty mean bagpipe, but of course, he's not here to wrestle this evening. And now Roddy Fairbairn says he wants to play the bagpipes. Well, now Roddy Piper gets out of the ring. So they're only gonna, all right, he's in Scotland the Brave. T-shirt first. Crowd getting quite a kick out of this. Now for the kilts. Very colorfully attired is Roddy Piper. First time we've had her on international TV. Okay. There's the bell. Here we go. This should be a dandy. Piper right on. Viciously kicking the mind, grabs him. Head first into the turnbuckles. Pulls him by the hair. Knee left by Piper. Body Piper right back after Milan. Smash in the face. Piper's right from elbow, back of the mat. Putting the boost to Tony Milan. A vicious attack. Watch out! Through the ropes. Clashing out here is Tony Milan. Piper grabs him with the hair. Drags him right back in the ring. Another punch. Back over viciously, pulling them by the hair. Oh, one of the midsection, throwing punches in there like a professional. Grabs them by the hair again. Oh, what a smash by Roddy Piper. Milan is hurt. Piper scream at him. Come on. Milan Coming back. Grabs Piper. Head first into the turn. Piper will a kick. Milan again, in the ropes. Oh, finds him coming off the rope. Here's the press. One, two, 
Whitefur grabs him by the hair. He doesn't want to pet him. He wants to punish the man. He had him beat. Into the ropes again. There's a clothesline again. That lays him flat. She'll do it. One, two. Whoa. Oh. He again refused to pit him. Now he's drawing a warning from the referee. Don't punish the man. Oh, him and the referee really getting into it. Not to punish him, sadistic Piper. Comes right back to the attack now on Tony Milan. Breaker. Again the press. One, two, and again he refuses to pin him. Now he draws another warning from the referee. He says if you don't pin him on this ball, I'll give the match to Milan. As Milan is real bad shape. Ronnie Piper, very quick winner here over Tony Milan. Very, very happy. Well, referee working on Milan, who looks in real bad shape. Now Piper comes out of the ring, and we'll be back right after this. This is coming Tuesday night, June the 27th. Big time wrestling up in San Jose. It'll be at the San Jose Convention Center in the back there in Exhibit Hall, starting at 8.30 p.m. But right now, let's talk about the big one tonight. Tonight, Saturday, June the 24th, 8.30 p.m. in the Cowell Palace in San Francisco. A big double man event. Let's go to that book and show you some of the pictures and tell you all about it right now. On top, for the World's Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, there's the champion, Harley Race. He'll put his title on the line against Dean Ho. And fans, Harley Race, in case you didn't tune in last week, doesn't trust any of the referees out here in California. He's asked the National Wrestling Alliance for a special referee. They have assigned one of several troubleshooting referees. Leo Garibaldi, the former junior heavyweight champion of the world, will be that special troubleshooting referee. Now the co-main event, Moondog Maine, the United States champion, will take on this man right here, Rowdy Roddy Piper. He's from Scotland. We cannot tell you at this time if this is a championship match. Last week, Moondog said if it was a good mood, it would be. If it was a bad mood, he wouldn't be. We haven't talked to Moondog since, but it may be or it may not be for the U.S. title. Another special attraction, a great tag match. You'll see the combination of Mondo Guerrero from Mexico and the sensational Jimmy Snuka from the Fiji Islands. They're going to take on Texas Red and his partner on the left there, formerly one half the world's tag team title, the great Goliath. Now on the right there, Black Gordman will be on the card, and he'll meet... Pepper Gomez. We don't have Pepper's picture here. We forgot it, but he will meet Pepper Gomez. Now, that man you see here, Takashi Anomi, he's going to take on this man right here, Pak San. Also on that card, you're going to see this sensational wrestler, Playboy Buddy Rose, in the top 10. 10. It is the guy to do anything to win a match. We'll have him here on TV next week. Also on that card, another big match, the Professional Mr. America, Don Ross, and look at that body. Now, fans, the Cow Palace box office is open right now. You can get tickets by going by or calling the winner of our first match, the man that's meeting the Moon Dog this tonight. It is Roddy Piper. Rowdy Roddy Piper, the lean, mean machine, ladies and gentlemen. I am here. I have come to San Francisco. I did not come to San Francisco to swish around. I did not come to San Francisco to breathe those huge particles of smog in the air and pollute my lungs. I came to San Francisco for one reason and one reason only. To fight the best wrestler in San Francisco I could find. Who is that? Moon Dog Maine. The, everybody I hear the people yelling, Moon Dog, Moon Dog, Moon Dog. I look for this Moon Dog Maine. I figure this man must be. This man must be great. He must be a super champion. He is the U.S. champion. What do I see? I see some nut out here eating goldfish, wiggling down his throat. This guy think he's flipper or something? I see some nut out here crawling down on his knees, going, Ah! Last time I heard that, that was a mating call in the rubber room, brother. There is no place for men like this. I came to fight a champion. So I say, I'm going to sign the contract because I have never feared nothing in my entire life. Never in my life have I feared any crazy man, any sane man. I sign a contract. And then I think, I have a match with Moondog. 
But why should I fight him twice? I mean, why should I fight? Oh, it's going to be hard. It, I ain't just not going to walk in there and, and, and just beat this man in the middle of the ring. I am going to have to batter this man about his skull, put scabs in his skull, knocks in his noggin. Why should I fight him twice? And I phone you. I hear that you're a great man, a good representative. And I phone you and I say, let's make it a U.S. championship match. Let's put it all on the line, brother. And I say to you, just to entice this crazy man just a little bit, I wire $10,000 to you. Do you know $10,000? That's a Cadillac, Jack. I wire it to you right. for a U.S. title match. Right. Well? Well, uh, Mr. Piper, if you haven't heard already, uh, Moondog Bane uh, ate your Chuck. <laughs> he, he, he what? Well, uh... <laughs> he, he ate my check. Yeah, I know that may sound... What? Whoa, whoa. Where did you get the? He ate my check. What, he he doesn't want ten thousand dollars for a U.S. title. What is uh, wrong with this man? Uh, Moon Dog me. Now I'm going to mention that you called him crazy. He doesn't like to be called crazy. He said if oh. he's in a good mood tonight, he'll put his title up. If he's in a bad mood, he won't. And that's all I know. It, just let me get this. Right. If he's in a good mood, right. he's going to put his title up. Right. If he's in a bad mood, he's not. Right. This man is a nut! He is a crazy man! If he's in a good mood, you know what that means? What if I said to you, if I'm in a good mood, I will fight you. If I'm in a bad mood, that, that spells fear, brother. Now I know why this man is crazy. He's crazy. He tries to intimidate people. Well, brother, you're not going to intimidate me, Jack. I don't plan to go in there and make it easy. I don't plan to go in there and not have some knocks on my own noggin, brother. Yes, sirree, I'm going to knock you down, brother, but if i got to beat you in the halls, in the walls, if i got to take you up in the balcony, leave your children at home, brother, because I am serious. I am here to win. You don't know whether, when am I going to find out if he puts the title up. Uh, Mr. Piper, you'll find out when he gets in the ring tonight. That's all I can tell you. When he gets you. in the ring? Well, I'm afraid we'll all have to wait till then. But <sighs> I'll tell you one thing, Moondog Maine isn't afraid of anybody or anything. Well, let me tell you something, brother. He is afraid of something. He's obviously afraid of me because he won't put his title up. And Moon Dog Maine, I will be there. I will be fighting you, Moon Dog Maine. You are going to see the wrath of Piper upon your skull, Moon Dog Maine. I'm going to beat you to a pulp, Moon Dog Maine, and then we'll just see who is afraid. Okay, we'll see. Moon Dog will be there. Fans, be right back with more after this. We'll meet Harley Race for the heavyweight championship of the world. And Dean, I understand you brought another tape along of Harley Race for us to see. Yes, here's another tape again from my white collection. I want, uh, want you people out there to see it. And uh, also, I'd like to run over it again and uh, watch the error. So let's, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, let's roll that tape right now. And an interview by Harley Race will follow. This match is for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing on my right from Kansas City, weighing in at 248 pounds, a world heavyweight champion, Harley Race. His opponent on my left from Atlanta, weighing in at 230 pounds, Mike Spolly. NWA world heavyweight wrestling champion, Harley Race, now removing the $10,000 gold and diamond studded belt. Referee displaying it to the assembly here. Mike Stalin going up against the world champion. There's the bell. Gordon Sully at ringside now as uh, Stallings approaches his man. An extremely important match for Mike Stallings. He's an outstanding young athlete. Fine wrestler. Played pro baseball in a good Champion using his head as a battering ram dive down, but uh, Stallings moved out of the way. Stallings moves in. Catches him with a full body strike. Stallings stuns him for ah, ah. Inside cradle by uh, the champion, but Stallings has powerful legs. He's able to uh, power his way out. Again, the champion using his legs very effectively dives beneath the midsection. Snap mare by Harley Race, the end of the championship for a second time. He originally defeated Dory Funk Jr. for the World Heavyweight Championship. 57 days later, he was defeated by Jack Briscoe. Briscoe held the title for two and a half years when he was defeated by Terry Funk. Terry Funk, in turn, lost the title to Harley Race. Using his uh, shoulders very effectively. 
Stallings, and that could be all she wrote for young Mike Stallings. Race drives that knee in. The NWA champion is unquestionably a totally unorthodox competitor. Gain the championship for a second time, and since then you've defended it all over the world. That's right, Gordon. I've made two different trips out of the country so far, one to Japan, one to Australia. Very shortly, I'm held headed back to Australia. I represent the NWA, the largest organization in wrestling in the world. There's five countries represented right here on the belt. If they were all on here, I wouldn't even be able to pack it around, let alone put it on and wear it in a ring for the people that it represents. I'll wrestle any man anywhere on the face of God's green earth for this belt. I am not a man to back up. I never have ever been, and here's such a man that can testify to that fact. When I was world's heavyweight champion the first time, they all said it's a freak accident came around the second time and they said well maybe well daddy let me tell you something erase all those maybes from your mind and get it totally out because right here is 10 pounds of pure gold that I'm going to carry until I see fit to retire it then they'll have a big tournament but there's not going to be a man in wrestling beats me that's a fact and I want you to remember it and when I go in that ring I'm going in there to win any way it takes to win how do you manage to stay in the tremendous condition that you're in with the kind of traveling you're doing? Gordon, it's very hard. You know it is. You have probably interviewed more champions than any other television commentator in wrestling. You just received a big honor bestowed upon you from a wrestling magazine as announcer of the year, and you deserve it. I mean that in all sincerity. But what I'm saying right now is here is the man of the hour and the man of the month, the week, whatever, and I'm here to stay. Okay, Dean, uh, what did you think of that? It was very interesting. Again, uh, again, the dear man did make uh, make some errors, and uh, I can see him. And uh, Listen, hey, Dean, we, we've got to run. I've got an interview that Hardy Race made for tonight. He couldn't be on TV today, but we'll get into that, and we'll talk to you right after this. Oh, who's challenging Harley Race for the heavyweight championship of the world tonight at the Cow Palace. Don't forget Moondog Maine and Roddy Piper on that card. Outstanding wrestlers, Jimmy Snuka, whole flock of them. Tonight, 8.30 p.m., June 24th, Saturday, tonight, 
Cow Palace in San Francisco. Dean, uh, Harley Ray sent us an interview. He couldn't be here this, after, this morning, I should say, but he will be at the Cow Palace tonight. And uh, before we talk to you for a moment, let's go with that tape right now. Nineteen years I've devoted to this right here. Please believe me when I tell you, you're not the man, not the man to take it away. Take it back 16, 17 years ago when you hurt me. Tuck me out of wrestling for a while. Take it back to the Cow Palace just last year. The big battle royal when I was eliminated, eliminated by you and a bunch of other people. I want a match with you. And if it takes coming all the way to the Cow Palace, I'm on my way, I'll be there. But this time, there's a lot of years of experience. There's a lot of vengeance. And there's a man coming for you that I'm sure in your own mind that you've let slip your mind about me. I haven't forgot. I don't forget anything. I'm coming to hurt you. Right here represents the world of professional wrestling the world's heavyweight title. I travel all over the world with all the pride and the dignity that any man on the face of this earth could have. All of that can be yours. There's one man standing in your way. He's talking to you right now. And when I come to the Cow Palace, I'm coming not to wrestle you, not to represent myself as world's heavyweight champion. I'm coming to hurt you. Please believe me, I'm going to do it. Okay, back here with Dean Ho. You heard Harley Race. Dean, what do you think? Well, I'll tell you, the man, Harley Race, has made a lot of threats. He's made, he's also said that he's going to try to maim me and cripple me. Well, let me tell you one thing now, Harley Race. If it comes to that point where you're going to try to cripple me and maim me, brother, you're going to have a Pier 9 brawl on your hands. Yes, sir. This Hawaiian is going to be out there also to try to cripple you. But first of all, number one, numero uno, and that thing is to win, to win the World Heavyweight Championship title from you. And I'm going to win it, and I'm going to walk out of there, the Cow Palace, with 10 pounds, your 10 pounds of gold around my waist. That's right. Remember that. Holly Race, this is a night. Tonight, it's going to be done at the Cow Palace. Remember that date, the 24th, where you lost the world title at the Cow Palace to one Dean Ho. Tonight, Dean, and we'll be there to see it. Okay, brother. Mahalo. Mahalo. Give him, brother. Okay, listen, a great tag match coming up. Plenty of good seats available tonight, by the way. But we'll be right back with that tag right after this. Eat the five seconds and the... That's right. You know what's so beautiful? You know what's beautiful, stupid? I got Hector Garea. I got him on a Mexican death match. If he don't beat me, he's got to leave town. You understand that? He's got to leave town. Let me show you something. Come here. Let me show you my referee. I, no, 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 no. I don't mean my referee. I mean my... I mean, an honest, look at him, an honest man. There's no way he'll cheat. He'll call the match the way it is. Am I right or am I wrong? You're absolutely right. Ah, look at that face. Is there any way he would cheat? He'll be honest in that match. Loser leave town, that Mexican death match with Hector. And you know what's going to be so funny? <laughs> we know what's going to be funny, don't we? But look at that. Look at that face. He ain't going to cheat. He ain't going to lie. He's going to call it like it is. When it goes down in the rule book, and what's the bag for? <laughs> this is, you told me to bring Hector's bag for when he loses and leaves town. And you've got his bag back. The man will be able to leave town. It's going to be so sweet. Oh, where's he going to go? Probably Tijuana with the donkey and the, and the pictures again. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you see that, Hector? You're leaving town, baby. And I'll tell you what, with my, no, not with my referee, with an honest, look at this man, with an honest to God face, would never lie or cheat in the world. He'll referee the match fair and square, but he knows already, 
<laughs> Hector's going to leave town. I know that you are a far superior athlete to Hector. Hector Guerrero, your time has come. Hector, make your reservations for Tijuana. Moondog <laughs> Maine <laughs> will definitely be trying his best. <laughs> he don't lie, and he's going to be honest. Hector's going to have to leave town, and he brought the bag up. Piper, there's just something about you I like. <laughs> I'll give you the money later, okay? I don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to television soon, Worldwide Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion Bob Backlund, also the 601-pound Haystack Calhoun, and the great Freddie Blassie. Well, here we go. One fall, 15-minute time limit. Presenting to you on my right, from Mexico City, weighing 209, former Great America's heavyweight champion, Hector Guerrero. In the opposite corner, 238-pounder, 12 times, he's been the America's tag team champion, the great Goliath. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now rated number three, as a wrestler, number three in the entire world, special referee, Roddy Piper. Uh, gentlemen, come. I know you're going to be honest. <laughs> Shut up. He'll give the instructions. I know you're going to be the referee, and I know you'll be honest. You know Goliath is going to beat him. Fair and square. I know you'll be honest, okay? I'll be honest okay, about baby. Okay, baby. You, you do it, baby. You do give it. the instructions, referee. Do not refer to me as referee, Mr. Guerrero. From now on, you can just refer to me as champ, as champion, considering Mr. Bob Backlund will be down in defeat, Mr. Guerrero. From now on, champ will do. No, sir. Not champion. Let me tell you why. You got to beat him first. Uh, and that's I will, brother. Back. I will, brother. <laughs> I'm going to go tonight, you <laughs> Gentlemen, he, I want he, he shouldn't be in here. What's he doing in here? He's got Don't his... worry about stupid. I'll sit here. I'll get out of the ring. He's giving me the instructions. You have no reason to be here. I'm wrestling this man. That's right. I will I say who's got the reason to be here and who's not. Piper. This Tell man me. is his second. He's got a right to be here. Gentlemen, I want no hair pulling. No eye. Are you listening to me, Guerrero? Here I am. No eye gouging. No. no trunk pulling. No choking. I want a nice, clean wrestling match. Timekeeper. Ring the bell. Wrestle. Bueno, amigos, suena la campana para entrar a las acciones. Héctor Guerrero contra Gran Goliath en la lucha estrella el día de hoy. Y ahí intervino Moon Dog Main para escuchar la dirección del referee Roddy Piper. Bueno, Moon Dog Main que de hecho es un hombre. He pulled the hair. He what? He pulled the hair, Piper. He pulled the hair. Did you pull the hair? Break the hold. Break the hold, bro. Pull the hair. y pretencioso ahora puesto como condición para que le disputen el título que si el desafiante pierde tendrá que salir de California y ya van tres luchadores que se ha echado el mundo of main al plato hace algunas semanas semanas el halcón salió desterrado de California, desde luego con triqueñuelas. Hace dos semanas Chavo Guerrero también salió de California, haciendo Moon Dog Main de las suyas. Y el viernes pasado, Ron Bess, a ese sí le arrimó una paliza tremenda. ¿Será? No, 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 no. ¿Será no, 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 no. Héctor Guerrero la siguiente víctima del cavernoso y tempestivo? No, no. Main, ¿qué es eso? Bueno, no, eso está muy difícil. Sea. Gran Goliath contra Héctor Guerrero en esta tremenda lucha. Roddy Piper es el referee. No, no. Ahora también dice que en esa lucha va a ser el Roddy Piper el referee. Men está diciendo la Piper. No, dice no, no tiene que ser así. 
you say, Guerrero? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No. No hair pulling now. No. And Roddy Piper has launched a challenge to a thousand masks, saying that he wants to prove that he is the best for the champion of the Federation of Lucha Libre, Bob Beckland. Repito, Piper ha lanzado un rato a mil más. Pues no. Para probar que él es el mejor para disputar a Bob Beckland el campeonato mundial de la Federación de Lucha Libre, WWF. Keep the fist open. Keep the fist open, Grell. Goliath para mandarse duro con la cuchara grande contra Héctor Guerrero. Ahí vemos a Mundo Mike con Roddy Piper por la esquina negra. Bueno, si algún día Piper y Máscara se enfrentan con él, no va a jugar. Dan Goliath dando dura golpiza a Héctor en la zona central. Y punzonazo con el pulgar a la mano derecha al cuello de Héctor. En el vientre, tremendo chicotazo con la derecha de Gran Goliath. Y se dirige al público Gran Goliath. Tremenda patada clásica de Gran Goliath a Héctor Guerrero. Héctor con golpe de antebrazo. Watch the fist, Guerrero. I'm warning you about the fist and I'm telling you last time. One more time, the fist and out you go. And I mean it. Piper le decía a Héctor Guerrero que pegó con el puño cerrado. Mentira. Acribillando a Héctor a patadas, Gran Goliath. Como dices tú, se está sirviendo ahorita con la cuchara grande. Gran goleador contra Héctor Guerrero. 15 minutos de límite de tiempo. 15 minutos de límite de tiempo. Una caída, lo que ocurra primero. Derribada de media Nelson, la goleada y patadas voladoras por Héctor Guerrero. Al de rojo. derecha a Héctor Guerrero para que se aproveche gran goleado. Y está Héctor Guerrero sufriendo el castigo duro por gran goleado. Luchar, dice Roddy Piper. Yo siempre he sido de la escuela de que no importa el deporte que se practique, siempre hay que respetar al árbitro. Pero en este caso, no lo haría yo. Roddy Piper haciendo de las suyas, como es costumbre, actuando como referee. Buena derecha, legal. Sick. 
con la tercera cámara, la tercera potencia. El centro del cuadro azul. Gran Goliath sosteniendo a Héctor Guerrero en la lona. Por fin se sale Héctor del encierro. Goliath boca abajo se incorpora ya. En el vientre. Y ahora arriba. Dos buenas derechas de Héctor Guerrero a Gran Goliath. Y una tercera derecha para atarantar a Gran Goliath que está en la esquina neutral del frente. Héctor Guerrero se va recuperando, pero Goliath es taimado, es duro el tipo. Durísimo. Héctor con un uppercut tremendo para voltear a Goliath de espaldas y un centonazo allí con las piernas. Funcionazo con la mano derecha de Gran Goliat. Está luchando Héctor contra Piper, que está ayudando a Gran Goliat. Y la interferencia de Moon Dogman también contra tres. En la esquina blanca es la lucha ahora. Goliat con sorteros golpes de derecha. Héctor Guerrero y patada también. Le enrueda la pierna derecha ya en la cuerda intermedia y le está clavando rodillazos y golpes de músculo. Goliath sabe que tiene la ayuda de Piper y también la interferencia de Moondog Main. Ok. Let's break it up off the ropes. Let's go. Break it up, gentlemen. One. Break it up. Two. Ok. Break it up. Break it up. I'll give him a count now. One. Two. Ok. Break it up. Let me give him a count. Héctor Guerrero, eso es lo que creo yo que le da la oportunidad contra Mundo Main. Vuela Héctor, pero no estaba Goliata, ya se quitó y se da un tremendo porrazo Héctor allá en el pecho. Goliat se lo lleva con tremenda quebradora, se le suelta a Héctor. Pasadita olímpica, rana para Goliat por Héctor. Es inútil, Piper no llega a tiempo para el conteo. Este es el referee, it's not him, Roddy Piper, uh -uh. eso es imposible. Y Luis, repetimos, este es el referee, Roddy Piper es el referee para el campeonato de las Américas. No fist allowed. Sigue la lucha entre Gran Goliath y Héctor Guerrero. Juego en las cuerdas ahora de Héctor para Gran Goliath. Se va encima. Plancha. Vamos. Una. Dos.
Piper de una decisión. He kept using the fist, man. I told him about it. He's a chicken. Decision. Time running out. The referee will render a decision. I warned you time and time in the corner about using the fist. He was using I must have warned you three times. Be honest, Piper. You'll be honest, Piper. You be honest now. You be honest. The winner, Great Goliath. Thank you, my beautiful referee. Thank you. With your round one, you got to be honest. What did Muzak tell you? Oh, I wonder. I wonder. You didn't tell me nothing. You did. You didn't tell me nothing. You did. Hey, Hector, come on here. Come over here. Piper, you come here, too. Listen to me, Piper. Listen very carefully. I'm with the NWA. It's under my jurisdiction. Come the America's title match between Hector and Gordman. Enough is enough. You will not referee. Give me that t-shirt. Give me that shirt. Give me that shirt right now. You will not referee. Come that match with Gordman and Mundo. Give me that t-shirt. That t-shirt's mine. That's it. Ya ha vuelto, le ha quitado. Ha demandado que Piper se quite la camiseta de referee. Pero Mundo Wayne entra con un punzonazo al cuello a Héctor Guerrero y se armó aquí una camorra tremenda. ¡Wow! Látigo a las cuerdas a Héctor por Mundo Wayne. Se lo lleva por los aires, por las espaldas. Y Mundo Wayne ahora toma una silla, Mundo Wayne. ¡Cuidado, Héctor! ¡Cuidado! ¡Cuidado! a merced de Mundo Main con esa silla y se hace un lado Héctor Guerrero oportunamente y aporre en la lona la silla Mundo Main y aquí está la cosa con una silla en las manos Mundo Main Héctor empuña la mano derecha y aquí se arma la cosa Héctor con golpes de antebrazo bien colocados a Mundo Main le está dando duro y tupido en la cabeza ya va otra derecha de Héctor tremendísimos derechazos se está colocando Héctor en la cabeza de Mundo Main que está a punto de desplomarse y allá va otra derecha y otra más de Héctor Guerrero Mundo Main todavía resiste que está de pie todavía pero Héctor sigue con tremendo golpe de antebrazo para tumbarlo y toma la silla Héctor Guerrero en este momento la porré en la lona y allá va allá va eso vamos desenrollando la silla a Héctor Guerrero para dársela duro a Mundo Main. el público le pide que así lo haga Mundo Main se va fuera del ring cobardemente se va Mundo Main. allá está la cosa en que Mundo Main se ha metido aquí desde el principio de la lucha estuvo interferido. Main event of the evening. The man you're going to see now is in the top ten of the National Wrestling Alliance, but it'll be his first appearance here on our international television network. He's going to be out here in just a second. Coming out first, let's see. From Hayward, California, 228 pounds in a nice hand, Jerry Monte. And he'll give a test to Playboy Buddy Rose, who's coming up next. His opponent. Here he comes from Las Vegas, Nevada. Look at that beautiful robe. Has Playboy Buddy on the back. This is Buddy Rose. I'm not going to exert myself any more than I have to. I'm going in first class. Oh, uh, you heard that. He's going to use the... Uh, well, he weighs in at 238 pounds. Playboy Buddy Rose. Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, what a colorful robe. Just gorgeous. Just a moment. Let me take my robe off and look at the inside lining. If you can pick it up on color TV, got a big advantage because it is beautiful. And the referee says, let's go. And Buddy Rose says, get him back. I'm not ready yet. Well, the bell is rung. The referee telling him, let's go. The bell is rung. Buddy Rose screaming, you wait till I get ready. Very, very cocky. Laying out that roll. The referee doing all he can to hold Jerry Money, right? Buddy Rose telling him, be careful. That beautiful roll. And tell me, Buddy Rose will do anything to win a match. Whoa! Into the turnbuckles. Kick 
You'll find out who it is pretty soon. Money comes around. His money is a fine wrestler. Throws off Rose. Rose will help him back of the neck. Down the hero, Jerry Money. First, right over the turnbuckles, the other side of the ring. successful this evening. Monty putting it on. Another Ray Stevens. Well, I don't know about that. But time will tell. They are comparing him, as we say, all over the country. We've heard from a number of different uh, fans and uh, promoters and the like. And all feel he is. Catches Monty off the road. And Monty slams him. Monty up Slow getting up and a flying hard drive by Jerry Money. Giving Mr. Rose all he wants so far. And Jerry with the advantage now. Another man that was very impressive in his debut last week, of course, Roddy Piper. Roddy, Roddy Piper from Stockton. Scotland, I should say. And he'll be out here in our next match. And Scott Lambert, oh, good drop on that arm by Jerry Money. I really want to say all, hello to all you fans up in Stockton and hello to out here in California. They've written us some nice letters. And from from San Mateo County. Love to hear from you people up there. City. Keep those letters coming in. Love to hear from you. The Dakotas, Oklahoma, wherever you're watching this, let us know. Enjoy the program. Wrestling, P40, Box 40, Sacramento. Watch out. Rose with a hair. Rose off. Money really is. Tackle jumps right over him. Leap frog Rose. Watch out. Both men dropping down. And a good move by Rose. And Money kicks him right off. has been compared to Ray Stevens by many, many observers throughout the country. We could be seeing a big upset tonight as Monty's given him everything he wants. And then some, I might add. Ray scored some tremendous upsets here. And in the ring. Wheels 
four, as they say, and he would like nothing better than to spoil the debut here on our international television network of Playboy Buddy Rose from with the blonde hair, of course, looking more like a bush right now, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Money putting it on that arm, weakening Buddy Rose. Takes a tremendous punishment with Ray Stevens game. That's one good place to come down. How much can they take? Perriner forcing money over the top rope. Referee calling for a break. Ooh. Smash there by Playboy Buddy Rose. The hair again. That shot. Bless it. Now Rose is on. Kisses, but uh, referee checking with Jerry Money. And there we go again. And where is Maine? Now, here comes Playboy Buddy Rose. He night off. That was a night off. <laughs> well, you heard him. Well, I'll tell you, we'll have Row Rowdy Roddy Piper of Scotland in the next big match. We're going to call him the winner of our second big match. Playboy Buddy Rose. I like how you say the winner. I'm always the winner, and I will always stay the winner. Check out this robe. Check it out. Get the camera in here close. Look at the roses on the inside. Look at the body. And look at the back of that. Look at the diamonds. There is a $1,200 robe, a first-class robe on a first-class professional athlete. Playboy Buddy Rose, you're going to be hearing a lot of them. And let me tell you something. I've got a reputation. A reputation at 25 years old that nobody else has. A reputation of a first-class athlete. Well, you know, uh, Buddy Rose, a lot of fans and promoters and wrestlers throughout the country, we understand, have been comparing you to Ray Stevens, the great Ray Stevens. You know, Ray Stevens, I've heard this quite a bit, Ray Stevens is a superstar in professional wrestling. But Ray Stevens, you're good, but I'm just that much better. 25 years old, and I'm just that much better. I'll go on record right now, and I would step into that ring with Ray Stevens. I've never wrestled him, but I would step into that four-squared circle with Ray Stevens. We'll just find out who is just that much better. And you know who it is? Me. 
Well, maybe promoter Roy Shara can arrange that match one of these days. I'm sure Ray would be willing, but... The only way you can arrange a match like that, if the money's right. The playboy goes where the money is, or else he doesn't come. Well, I'll tell you, first of all, you better forget about Ray or anybody else. You got Pepper Gomez in the main event right here at the Cow Palace on Saturday, July 15th. A man with a cast iron stomach. He's held the U.S. title. He's held the world's tag team title. Mm -hmm. He's one of the greatest. Pepper Gomez, the steel stomach. Well, let me tell you something. Pepper Gomez, he has not got a steel leg. He has not got a steel head. He has not got a steel neck. His arms are not steel. His ankles are not steel. So do I have to pound on his stomach? I'm going to pound on his legs. I'm going to pound on his arms, and I'm going to break his neck. Pepper Gomez, let me tell you something. I can look you right in the eye. I can look you eight to five humanoid lifers right in the eye. A lot of wrestlers come out here, you know, they look up in the air, they look all around, they fiddle with things. But when a wrestler looks you in the eye, and you people that are looking at me right now, I speak the truth. And when you speak the truth, you back up what you say, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Pepper Gomez, you're good. You're very good. But like I said, I'm always that much better. And I'm going to stay that much better over everybody that I step into that four squared circle with. Pepper Gomez, whether it be your arm or your ankle. I don't have to go after your stomach. I don't have to go after that steel stomach of yours. Let me tell you something. The younger generation is taking over. It's not the Willie Shoemakers of horse racing anymore. It's the Steve Cawthons. It's not the Ken Stablers of the Oakland Raiders. It's the Russ Francis's of the New England Patriots. And it's not the Luthezes of professional wrestling. It's the Playboy Buddy Roses. And that's exactly what I am, a playboy a first-class athlete. And you know why I'm that way? Because I've earned a reputation in that ring as a winner. And I need the money to do what I want to do. And the only way you get that money is by being a winner. Wherever I've wrestled, like for instance last week, I had a hectic schedule last week. Monday, Miami, Florida. Tuesday, Portland, Oregon. Wednesday, Honolulu. Thursday, Amarillo. Friday night with the girls. And Saturday, the money was right, Roy Shires, the Cow Palace. But I'm going to tell you something. Main events only for me. Main events. I was in a preliminary match in the Cow Palace, and it was an insult. The Playboy does not go into preliminary matches. But since the money was right, Roy Shires, I'll come. But if it's not right, I won't be there. Pepper Gomez, it's going to be you and I. Triple main event. You know why it's a triple main event? Because you have to say main event when I'm in there. Because I'm a main event wrestler and nothing else. Pepper Gomez, I'm going into that ring to beat you and I'm going to be mean, and I'm coming in mad. Pepper Gomez, good night in the cow palace. Well, the contracts are signed. He'll be there, and so will Pepper Gomez. That's going to be some kind of match. The third big main event of the evening. This should be another dandy. Coming out now from South San Francisco. 235 pounds, this is Guy Lambert with South City on that beautiful jacket. And his opponent is from Glasgow in Scotland, here he comes. 232 pounds, this is Rowdy Roddy Piper with his bagpipes. As on the back of his t-shirt, San Francisco's finest. Lambert invites him into the ring. Okay, here we go. Piper wants, I guess we're going to perhaps uh, hear a few of the bagpipes again. He calls them. Piper 
taking the T-shirt off and uh, a little concert there. A little something different. Now, of course, will come the kilts. Hyper powering something.
doesn't have that hard head of a Jimmy Snuka. Rodine Hall. the winner of our third match, the man that beat Moondog Maine in the nine title bout last Saturday, and we'll meet him right here in the Cow Palace Saturday, July 15th for the U.S. title, Rowdy Roddy Piper. The lean, mean machine is here. I just wanted to tell you, it was such a pleasure coming to some big building named after a cow. It was so nice. I knew the minute I was there, just a couple of deep breaths, and I knew I was by the Cow Palace. And as soon as I got through all those lovely people cleaning the manure off their boots. It was such a pleasure to be there. Then, Moondog Maine. I come there with big speculations. I come there for the U.S. title. And what's the first thing they tell me? No U.S. title. No U.S. title? I say, I'll wrestle this man anyway. It don't matter to me. What do I see? He comes up to me forehead to forehead, thinking he's tough, but I know what he's thinking. He's trying to psych me out. What do I do? I haul off and I slap him right across his ugly mug. What does he do? He starts howling, arr, arr, and parading around, and the people start cheering. He's howling like a banshee. I think he's some kind of a nut, as if that's not enough. I look back at him, and he's going like this. The man is sick. The man, I thought he was doing some kind of a new disco dance. But then we got down to the nitty gritty, did we not? Moondog Mane, I hit you right between your ugly beady eyes, didn't I, Moondog? And you know what he did? He hit me right back, right between my eyes. And down I went, and Moondog went, arr, arr, and I got up. And he hit me again, and down I went, and Moondog went, arr, arr, and I got up, and Moondog went, arr. And he hit me again, and I got up, and again, and I got up. And then all of a sudden it was, and I hit him again, and I hit him again between his beady eyes, and I hit him again, and again, and again, until down he went, and he got up. And I hit him again, and down he went. And I hit him, and I hit him, and I hit him till he started to bleed. He started to bleed all over that ugly mug of his. And what happened? The referee stopped the fight. The referee says, Moondog Maine cannot take any more punishment. Moondog Maine is through, Roddy Piper. You are the winner. I jump with joy. And then look. Take a good look at me. This is what your hero did to me. This is what your hero did from behind, brother. He was not man enough. He knew that he could not beat the lean, mean machine. Square, he hit me from behind, and he beat on me, and he beat on me, and you take a good look, man. Because if this was you, you would be in the hospital, brother. But I was man enough to come back here, Moondog. I was man enough to come back here and get in the ring and wrestle and beat my opponent. U.S. title match, Moondog. I got a U.S. Piper. title match with you only because the N.W.A. told Moondog he has to well, put the wait, title wait on because he's afraid of me. Now, wait a minute. We understand that Moondog put it up voluntarily. He did not have to put it up just to get you back in the ring, and we're out of time, Mr. Piper. That is lies. Moondog Maine got in the ring, Moondog Maine, to do his thing, and when it was over and his head started to ring, he had to consume... Yeah. Last DC. 
Walker más bien dice que Bass tiene la fuerza física, él tiene los músculos y Piper tiene los sesos, la inteligencia, el cerebro. En esas palabras, él es el que dirige las acciones, ¿eh? Amigos aficionados, tenemos un anuncio muy importante para ustedes, especialmente, o mejor dicho, para ustedes los televidentes aquí en el área de Los Ángeles. La función de lucha libre del próximo miércoles no será televisada, pero les recomendamos que no dejen de ver el programa especial de la Copa Mundial de Fútbol Soccer el próximo miércoles. Le ha indicado Piper a Ron Bass que vaya a darle duro a Terry Sawyer. Allí va la fuerza física. Ese programa va a ser televisado el próximo miércoles. Y las luchas las podrán ustedes ver por televisión aquí en Los Ángeles en este, o sea, de este sábado en 8 a las 4 de la tarde. No se les olvide, el próximo miércoles Fútbol Soccer, pero las luchas las podrán ver Aquí en Los Ángeles, de este sábado en 8 a las 4 de la tarde. Ahí está Piper corriendo por todas partes del ring. Y allá va corriendo Gorman, sacudiendo las cuerdas y Piper está corriendo por las cuerdas también. Y choca con el brazo derecho de Gorman y se le da encima a Sawyer a Piper. Muy candente esta lucha Aquí Piper va corriendo a salirse del ring Allá por el lado derecho Ahora le llama a Ron Bass Y le dice tú te vas a meter al ring Y tú lo vas a porrear, le vas a dar durísimo A ellos le dice Vamos le dice a Ron Bass La próxima función de televisión la, El próximo programa de televisión Del Olympic será amigos En que veamos Ya sea Terry Sawyer O a Coloso Colosetti por aquello de la lucha De Lucer Lipstown, el que pierda se va de la ciudad ahí está Rombas que le da el tag a Piper sostiene Rombas a Gorman y Piper le da tremendo golpe con la derecha a Gorman abajo y látigo a las cuerdas a Piper por Gorman y fuerte tacleada de Piper a Gorman y otra más wow ahí Gorman en tremendo paquetazo para Bonnie Piper otro látigo a las cuerdas Gorman se lo lleva por las espaldas a Roddy Piper se le va encima a Gorman y rebota con dos palmadas a Piper el referee ahí contando ahí está Piper que le está indicando a Rombas que se meta vamos le dice go in there le, le dice grita, le pega ahí están grita. los gritos de Piper go in there and take care of them le dice Piper a Rombas y allá va eso allá va la cosa wow y Piper, campeones de parejas de las Américas contra Norman y la cosa se pone al rojo vivo aquí vemos a Gorman que lo tiene Ron Bess según Piper Ron Bess es la fuerza la fuerza bruta aquí todavía le está gritando a Piper desde la esquina, dándole instrucciones bueno, la cosa se pone aquí candente en el Olímpico Auditorio Bass y Roddy Piper, los campeones de parejas de las Américas contra Terry Sawyer y Black Gorman. Ahí está Ron Bass dando duro castigo a Gorman como se lo ha pedido Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper ha indicado que él tiene la inteligencia, el cerebro, los sesos y que Ron Bass tiene el músculo, la fuerza física. Acá viene Ron Bass, acá le pide a Ron Piper el... El cambio de relevo, porque ve que Gorman está lastimado. Piper dando fuertes rodillazos clásicos al bíceps del brazo izquierdo de Black Gorman. Látigo a las cuerdas a Piper por Gorman. Puñetazo duro en el estómago a Piper que lo hace rebotar en la lona. Pecho arriba. Ahí está Piper revolcándose. Entra Terry Sawyer ahora en su turno y corre Piper, va gateando a la esquina a darle el tag a Rombas. Mientras que lleva y la tela. La cosa se pone durísima aquí en el Olympic. Sawyer acribillado ya en la esquina por Rombas, en la esquina negra. La acción plena aquí en el Olympic. Bass y Piper son los campeones de parejas de las Américas. Fuera del ring se va Sawyer empujado por Rombas con el conteo y Piper ya está en la esquina negra y en la faldilla del ring ahí están conferenciando nuevamente Piper y Ron Bass 
tirando a Ron Basel, referee Piper nuevamente se ve de espaldas allá. Roddy Piper, el tremendo Sawyer, viene con la izquierda y la falla contra Piper. Está enfurecido Sawyer contra Roddy Piper. Sostenido Sawyer por Bass y golpazo de Piper. Izquierda buena de Sawyer, derecha de Sawyer, izquierda de Sawyer. Izquierda de Sawyer, golpe de antebrazo bonito. Otra izquierda de Sawyer a Rory Piper. Sacudido Piper por Terry Sawyer. Otra izquierda, la derecha, izquierda, derecha. Y vamos, lanzamiento a las esquinas, allá en el fondo, a Piper por Sawyer. Rory Piper y Ron Bass son durísimos campeones de parejas de las Américas. Esto se ha puesto color de hormiga para la pareja de Gorman y Terry Sawyer. Sawyer está pidiendo a Piper. Piper se esconde detrás de Ron Bass. No me gustaría enfrentarme a ninguno de estos tipos. Allí le dice Piper nuevamente a Ron Bass. Le dice, go ahead. Le dice, you have the muscle, I'll have the brains. Rory Piper manda nuevamente a Ron Bass. Han dado fuerte a la cabeza de Sawyer a Ron Bass con el brazo izquierdo. Ahí está, 15 minutos de límite de tiempo o una caída, lo que ocurra primero. Látigo a las cuerdas de Sawyer, tapea la puerta a Bass por Sawyer, juego a las cuerdas de Sawyer. Vuela sobre las espaldas de Ron Bass, Terry Sawyer. Ron Bass con rodillazo fuerte a Terry Sawyer. Golpe de antebrazo en el pecho a Sawyer por Ron Bass. Vaya, qué pareja tan pareja. Gary Piper recibe el tag de Ron Bass. Izquierdazo fuerte de Piper a Sawyer. Con la derecha de estatura fuertemente ahora. Piper ahora contra Sawyer castigándolo duramente. Así es que hay gran emoción aquí. Falla un centón Piper. Piper recibiendo patadas de Terry Sawyer. Y el conteo del referee allí rápidamente con dos palmadas. Así es que es dura la cosa aquí en el Olympic. Allí entra Ron Bass. ¡Oh, boy! Allá está Ron Bass con fuerte azotón de crotch a Terry Sawyer. Allí ah, está. Stop, dice. Stop, dice Roddy Piper. Stop, dice Roddy Piper. Y aquí la cosa se pone más candente todavía. Ya entra Piper allá jugándose en las cuerdas y salta en plancha. A Terry Sawyer, dos, tres palmadas, liquidado Terry Sawyer por Roddy Piper. Rombas, Roddy Piper, campeones de pareja de las Américas, triunfo sobre Sawyer y Gorman. Aquí está Jim. During the win in 10 minutes, 29 seconds, Roddy Piper and outlaw Ron Bass. Bueno, vamos a hablar con los ganadores. Hey, Papa, tell me something, son, there's something I don't understand. Why was you running and not holding up the end of your load right there, son? Why was you doing running all night and making me do the wrestling, son? No, no, no. I got to do that. I won't understand that, son. Tell me about it. Mr. Bass, I am the intelligence of the two of us, Mr. Bass. I am the brain, Mr. Bass. If it wasn't for me, Mr. Bass, we would not have won this competition, Mr. Bass. You a tremendously smart individual. That's all well and good, Piper. Well, just think a minute. There's $500 prize money for the winner of the match. I had the man beat. I had the man pin. Now, where do you get off coming that you get the pin? That's what I want to understand. I don't right. understand that, Piper. Don't get mad, Ronnie, baby. Don't get mad with me, amigo. I am the root of the tree. I am the seed in your cherry, Mr. Ronnie, baby, I won the 500. You didn't win the 500. But come on, my friend. Oh, come on, I'll buy you a steak. My friend, no need to be mad. You and I are a great team. We'll go to McDonald's, have a Big Mac on me. It'll be great. Come on, my friend. Well, you heard what Roddy Piper says. Now here is Jeff Walton with a very important message for you.
Now let's talk to the America's heavyweight champion, Moondog Man. You know, Shabba Gara, listen to them people cheer for me out there. I am going to take this belt after I win it. There's no way I can lose this belt. Number one, I am the champion. I wouldn't be up here, you idiots, if I wasn't the champion. Number two, there's no way. There's no way Chavo Guerra can beat me. You know why? You know why? You'll tell me. Shut up while I'm talking. Sometimes you talk too much, LaBelle. You're just like your brother. Moondog is going to walk over Chavo, walk over him. Then he's going to take this belt and he's going to whip him like a dog. Like a dog. And you One know moment, thing. Jeff Walton. Wait a minute. I've got some big news that I want you to hear. Hold it, hold it. You're always shooting your mouth off, but there's no way, baby. There's no way, you four-eyed, big-nosed idiot, because if Chavo gets a little good, a little better on me, I can just get disqualified. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wrestling fans. <laughs> this is the big news, Gene. You said it, Mr. Moondog Maine. I've seen you time and time again deliberately try to get disqualified. Okay, this... With your match with Chavo Guerrero, if you try to get disqualified, I'm going to take that America's Championship belt and give it to Chavo Guerrero. You're, You're not going to get No, no, disqualification and I lose the belt. No, no way, no way, babe, no. No. What's so beautiful? Pak Chu, yes. you got Mill Masquerus, right? Okay. Am I right or am I wrong? That's How? That's right, and you know what's going to be so beautiful? Look at this brick, huh? Look at this brick, and that's what he's going to do to that idiot. That's what he is going to do to that idiot. I want you to judo chop. Yes, Kick. yes. Stop. Yes. Scream. Get yes, mad. Yes. Get mad. Okay. The man of a thousand faces, right? Isn't that what that means? That's right. Mill mascaras, right? Pak Chu, I want you to take him, and I want you to hit. I yes. want you to stop. I want you to hit, kick, yeah. and rip, tear. Do everything you can, and you know what? He ain't gonna have no more thousand faces. No more thousand faces. There's only one reason he wears that mask. You know why? Because he's a criminal. He's a criminal. He is so ugly. If they took his picture, they'd put it in the post office. And the Mexicans out there, they know that. They know that. And that's why, Pak Chu, you take, you take him, yes. that mill mascaris, and you hit, and you stomp, and you rip. Okay. And you send him back where he belongs from, okay? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Get mad. Yes. Mad, mad, mad. Yes. Mad, mad. Yes. Mad. Mad. Okay. That's uh, the co manager of Pac 2. Two. <laughs> to come out now. Coming out first from Dallas, Texas at 245 pounds, this is Rick Thompson. A fine wrestler. I think you're going to enjoy him. And from Glasgow in Scotland, it's Rowdy Roddy Piper on his way out here now. 232 pounds. Coming out with his bagpipes and his kilt. Stares at Thompson. You watch this, Moondog! 
Roddy Hollers, you watch this moon dog. Well, Roddy Piper getting into the ring now. Guy plays a mean bagpipe, I can tell you that. Goes up to Thompson and says, you know who I am, boy? Are you afraid of me? And Thompson just grins at him. Yep. He's calling us over here, and I think we're going to another rendition of Roddy Orton's bagpipe. You have the privilege of having a few graceful notes over your eardrums, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Or maybe I won't. Maybe they don't. Well, maybe they do. Piper getting in the ring now. Puts his bagpipes down. And he's saying, let's go. There's the bell. Rick Thompson champing at the bit, to put it mildly. Hey, oh, Thompson does a shuffle, and that's the Piper. i take that T-shirt off with San Francisco's finest on it. And, of course, we'll come as kilts, and we'll be all set. Here we go. Buddy Piper is very impressive. There's several international TV performances we've seen him. Performing on the bad pipes, of course, and then very impressive in his wrestling and his matches. But Piper does not like to go by the rules. by the rules. There's somebody to talk. Crowd runs for the Rick Go.
a smash in the back of the neck, and Roddy Piper takes over the hair. And now Mother Thompson head first into the mat. There's a knee on the side of the neck. Another knee in there. Kicking there by Roddy Piper. Likes to be known as Rowdy Roddy Pipers. Pepper Gomez and Takashianomia against Playboy, Buddy Rose, and Texas Red. That'll be a dandy. Piper trying to work his way out of here. And that's his way of doing it. Gets over to the ropes, puts his leg over the bottom rope, and they have to break it. Thompson being very cautious. Shouting Piper stinks. We into the tag match right after this. Of our second main event, Rowdy. Rowdy.